In this video, I'm going to demonstrate step by step how to use JV Weld original cold steel. And later on, we're going to strength test it with the Strength Tester 2000. I'm Eddie Field with Field Guided DIY, where we give you direction for home repair and DIY. Let's dive in. Now, JV Weld makes a variety of adhesives and filler products. Today's video, we're going to be demonstrating how to use JB Weld Original Cold Steel. And since JB Weld is applicable to a variety of substances, we're going to be testing on steel. You know, you can use it on metal, ceramic, wood, concrete, tile, fiberglass, plastic. We're going to be using it today on steel. And of course, what I did is step one is I burnished or I took off the film that came on the steel. And why am I using a one inch block of steel adhered to another piece of steel? Because JV Weld is rated up to 680 pounds per square inch. And that would be a square inch. What we need to do is we need to mix up the steel with the hardener and it does start to set up really quickly. Original JB Weld Cold Steel sets in five hours and cures in 24 hours. So we're gonna let it set overnight, clamped, and then test it tomorrow. So first what we're gonna do is gonna squeeze out equal portions of the black and the white, and we mix them up thoroughly until it's solid gray. So now we've got our steel. You can puncture the tube with the top. You can tell from the size, we're not gonna need a lot. That's about equal portions. All right, now we're gonna mix the two portions up thoroughly. It does have a certain smell to it. So just keep that in mind. You may want to use this in a ventilated area. Apply a good thin coat. Now, let's attach it and clamp it. And I'm gonna scrape off the excess. <laughs> the excess actually makes a nice bead. We're going to let this cure overnight and come back tomorrow and put it on the tester. So 24 hours later, we unclamp the JB Weld Fix and it is firm and it's secure. Now we're going to take it over to the Strength Tester 2000 and put it in the tester. If you'd like to see how we manufactured the ST2K, that is the Strength Tester 2000, click the link in the description. Okay. We peaked at 192, 191 pounds. JB Weld Original Cold Steel, we had a reading of 191.2 pounds per square inch at the fail point. I don't know if it if these bubbles mean that there wasn't enough layer on there, but I followed directions, I may try a thicker layer next time. I let it set for more than 24 hours. JV Weld Original Cold Steel on a square inch block. If you're an adhesives manufacturer and you'd like to see your adhesive tested run through the paces on our channel, let me know. For more videos like this one, click the image on your screen now, and don't forget to subscribe to Field Guided DIY. I'll see you in the next video.